Oh, and then there's going to be special kinds of anointings coming upon his people. Special kinds of anointings. You know, when the Lord opened my eyes to the realm of the Spirit in the 70s, it was preceded by weeks of an anointing that came upon me. I'll be driving my car, and suddenly I get a massive anointing of the Holy Spirit. I could hardly drive. And I'd say, you know, I don't know what to do with this, Lord. What, what is this for? Is this for is me to heal the sick? What is, he said, just let it happen. I'd be lying on my bed and it was just like a wave would roll over me. And come back out again. And come back out again. And I said to my wife, I have no idea what this is all about. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know where to take it. Well, after it was all over, my eyes were opened to the realm of the Spirit in an incredible way. The clutter was removed. There's anointings, you see, that are going to come on, special anointings which are going to bring adjustments to us and healing, healing of the mind. You know, our emotions sometimes need healing. The reason we can't feel how God feels is because our emotions have been damaged. Joel said, I will restore the years where the damage has occurred. And he will do it very quickly. The year of the canker worm, the caterpillar, the palmer worm. He said, I'm going to restore it by an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And I'm going to raise up a people who I can fill with my light and glory. Who will demonstrate it to this world in a time of chaos. It's going to happen. Oh, the glory of the Lord. Our God is a consuming fire. Amen. He doesn't consume you, he just consumes all the bad stuff. Yeah. There is an acceptable time to pray. We're in a time, a Kairos time. Going to raise up the tabernacle of David again. Preparing vessels. You know, three Hebrew children were bound, right? Cast into the furnace. They came out of the furnace with no shackles on them. That's a baptism of fire. They came out free. 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 Activates mantles. Promises that have been on your life for years and years and never been fulfilled suddenly will start to be fulfilled. The Kairos time. We're coming into it. The set times, times of opportunity, you know, times which are important. You know, there was a time when the, the glory of the Lord left Israel. We can read about it in, in, in Ezekiel. And um, it says the glory of the Lord, but it says the, the cherubims, who were carriers of the glory, left the temple, came to the outer court, left the outer court, came to the city, left the city, came up onto the mountains and were gone. And the glory departed from Israel. It was a long time back. Later in Ezekiel you see whether it starts to come back again. See the glory of the Lord has departed from your land. It, it, it's, it's departed from the land. Ezekiel 10 says, Now the cherubims, which carriers of the glory, stood on the right side of the house, and the cloud filled the temple. Remember, in, in Solomon's temple, the priest couldn't stand because of the glory? Well, here it's saying the glory left the house, and the glory of the Lord went up from the cherubs and stood over the threshold of the house. And then it's went into the city and left the city, was seen on the mountains and left the mountains. First left the house of God, the church. Then it left the nation. That's what's happened in this country. It first left the church. You know? You had things happening in Azusa Street and all those two things and they were great, but the glory 
finally lifted. It left the church, and because it left the church, it left the nation. And left it open. But the glory will return. It's coming back, it will return. And in the midst of great darkness, the glory of the Lord will return to this nation. But it will be raised up initially by a remnant. Those fires I saw across the nation. Remember I told you a few years ago that the cherubims were coming? Yes. I had an encounter with the Lord on that clear encounter. We're getting really close to that again. In the midst of all of this, God's going to say to the cherubims, go. He's going to say to the seraphims, spirits of burning, go. It's your time. I tell you, if a seraphim touches you, you'll know about it. <laughs> Remember Isaiah? A good man? He prophet, a good man, loved the Lord, glory, and he's... But an angel, he saw the Lord in the, in the throne, filled the temple, he said, Lord, the the nation's in a mess. We've gone about to be overrun by foreign powers, all this stuff. And he says, the Lord, and suddenly an angel came along, seraphim came along and touched his mouth with a burning coal. The first thing he said, I'm undone. <laughs> he said, I've live among the people of an unclean mouth and unclean and I've become like them and I didn't even know it yeah. 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 God touched him and raised him up as a voice to the nations the seraphims are coming you know in the second world war we got five minutes of the Second World War. <laughs> missionaries recorded, missionaries in India, Africa, all over the place recorded a, 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 a sudden reducing demonic activity. And I couldn't understand why. You know why? Because a war was breaking out that would kill millions of people. And there'd been a shift of the demonic. See, there's movements in the demonic realm. There are movements around the world, you know? And uh, there's been movements in this land, demonic movements. That if we stand up and fight, the glory of the Lord's going to come. You're not fighting for your nation, yourself. You're fighting for God's inheritance in this nation. People have died for this nation and their inheritance in this nation. It means civil wars. People have given their lives. God has an inheritance in this nation. S specific nations have inheritances, you know? For instance, Australia, the first was named the Great South Land of the Holy Spirit. That was its first name. We've lost that. Believe you me, we have. See, inheritances? The Spanish came to South America in search of gold. And all have had ever since is poverty in South America. The Pilgrim Fathers came in search of God. And God prospered your nation. Oh. There is hope of the tree that it shall sprout again. It's going to be difficult. But it's also an opportunity, a kairos time, for God to raise up a remnant in this nation. There'll be times when disasters are so great here that God's people will be raising the dead. I saw this in the vision, clear as anything, clear vision, one of the clearest I've had. 
people were being killed, shot, killed in rioting and, and, and battles and gunfire. God's people would come in and raise them from the dead. And they would say, these people have the true message. I was in hell. I saw it over and over and over again. It's going to happen. He's raising up a remnant to demonstrate the power and the glory and the heart of God in the nation. What God is like in the midst of all the chaos. Oh, it's exciting. You've got to remember all this when things get bad, right? God is on his throne. He knows what he's doing. He is a God of love. He hasn't forsaken you. You have forsaken him. But turn your hearts back to God. He's going to empower you. He's going to bring you to such a place in him. It'll be a set time of favor for those who are following and pressing into God. Set time of favor is coming on the land as well as darkness and tragedy. You know, a lot of Christians are going to be so disillusioned because they've been taught this could never happen. It'd be a real wake-up call.